So we finally have a name for the merger of Android and Chrome OS, and they're calling it Aluminum OS or Animating OS. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but we have a name. And this comes from Android Authority and giving us some insight into what's going to happen and what is Google's future plans for this operating system. Now we've been talking about this for a while now about Google making a desktop first OS, a uh, merging of Android and Chrome OS. This is kind of Google's end game because what they want to do is create one operating system for all platforms. Android is on our phones, it's TV, it's on watch. A version of Android is on almost any display electronic. And Google's not really hiding this either. Uh, this came in the form of an ad that Google is looking for, a senior project manager. I'm going to bring up the article right now on Android Authority, and I will try to include this down in the description below. Okay, so looking over here, we see this is a senior project manager, Android, laptop, and tablets. So again, this is showing that they intend for this to be widespread on device and not just a laptop. The team is responsible to dive into Chrome West and Aluminum, or again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, EG Android platforms and devices in conjunction with cross-functional stakeholders and the external partners, blah, blah, blah. It's working on new Android. So Android based operating system. Now that has me thinking I could be just done with words, but calling it an Android based operating system instead of being just Android, like my previous videos, I thought, okay, just Android OS despite. So the fact that they're calling it something different than just Android and specifically Android based has me thinking, it actually makes me a little happier that this isn't just blown up Android, that it is a fresh operating system, but because the Android would be at the kernel, like we, like Google has been saying that Android would be at the kernel of it, that it will be different, dis different and distinct. And let's see, uh, responsible for driving the roadmap, uh, for curating a portfolio of Chrome OS and aluminum operating system, commercial devices across all form factors, laptops, detachables, tablets, boxes. Uh, so these are the mini PCs that Chromeboxes um, now inhabit. Chromebooks, Chrome Pluses, aluminum, I'm assuming this is the AL is aluminum entry, mass, premium, and premium devices that meets the needs of users and businesses. So this is, Pretty simple. Chrome, I'm sorry, whatever they call this, so aluminum OS uh, devices will take over or replace Chromebooks. I think that's what they are alluding to. In the short term, so like next year, when this all comes out, you will have both devices occupying similar spaces. And as I said before, this is their plan. I don't know whether it's goes through all the way will be depending on a couple of key factors, mainly if people will adopt this new operating system, they may want people to do so and have plans to, but if people don't adopt it, mainly the two biggest contributors to Chromebooks in enterprise and education, if they can't get those two big markets to agree or to utilize this new operating system and the new devices, then I don't think it's gonna happen. But that's the plan. The plan is to move forward with this operating system. So what I'm curious about is some Chromebooks are going to have the option to upgrade to this new OS, or is this going to be just for new devices only? Because from my minimal research that I've done, this is going to be a um, ARM base system first and x86 second. The Chromebook I'm using now has an Intel chip in it. I haven't talked about this on the channel yet, but a lot of upcoming Chromebooks are going to have ARM processors, mainly MediaTek's, and a lot of them. It makes sense that Google's going to go all in on ARM, which guess not all in ARM because they're still going to have to support x86 devices. 
So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if even Google knows specifically. I don't know if Google has made that decision yet. But I don't think that's going to happen that soon. So we know this is coming out next year. I don't think we're going to be getting an update next year. And as far as when is it coming, guesses is it's going to be closer to Android 17. Now, I don't know, is the device going to be launching? Because that depends. If they're just hired for this, then I don't know how close could they be to a product that is ready to ship. And to my surprise, at least Android Authority believes that they're going to keep the name Chromebook or Chrome OS. It seems that when this comes out, there's going to be a split. They wanted to call Chromebooks that will not migrate over to the new system, Chrome OS Classic. And they're also calling non-aluminum Chrome OS, which means this new thing is they're going to might call it Chromebook because Chromebook does have brand recognition. Everybody knows what a Chromebook is. If they come out and say it's an Android book, what's an Android book? It's like a Chromebook. Then just call it a Chromebook. But that's all a marketing thing, and that's really probably not going to be their focus right now. So what do I think of all this? Strangely, I feel kind of excited about it. Now, that's just part of me that I like new tech and just a new thing. Now, if I'm being a little critical of it, this potentially could still have a lot of the same pitfalls as Chrome OS does, or as Chrome OS Classic currently does. Yes, I believe it'll be able to run Android apps better than what we have now, even with ARM processor, but I haven't tested it out myself. So I can't be hundred percent sure on that. And even though Android is the most used operating system, it is a mobile first operating system, which means developers are going to make their programs dedicated to the smaller screen. And the bigger screen is an afterthought. Now Google has done a good job and I believe they're continually to do so about making developers focus also on the big screen, but they're coming in mobile first and then everything else second. So if the app looks like just a blown up Android app, I don't know how many people are going to resonate with at least somebody who's going to be looking at this as a productive device. Now, yes, just as Chromebooks are good enough for majority of users. Again, I'm using one right now. I don't think you're going to move the needle that much. This new device would be similar footprint as Chrome's device. Under the hood, it will be a lot better. I don't know, will this overcome the weaknesses of Chrome OS? And that's coming from somebody who loves Chrome OS. But again, if I have to be critical about it, will this, it right now is a distant third place to Windows and Mac. Now, granted, Windows has been slipping a lot and people are jumping ship, not the majority, but enough. How many people are going to be coming over to Chrome OS? I guess now we just call Chrome OS or Chrome Classic. There's other things to consider, but I might get to that in another video. I'm going to try to post this as soon as possible. I know I'm a little behind, but that's all I have for you today. Tell me, what do you think of this? I feel like Google is kind of like Kanye to where they have people have to pay attention, but at the same point, you doubt their sanity. All right. Remember, if you like this kind of content, please leave a comment, like the video, share it if you can, and uh, yeah, subscribe. I'll see you later. Take care.